All right, so right now I want to talk about are men just as disposable as the clones from Star Wars, The Bad Batch, or The the Bad Batch. Uh, we all know, stormtroopers from Star Wars, that they're nothing but literal clones of a singular person. And they are very, very disposable. But of course, the good characters, the Jedi, treated them like individual human beings. But the Sith and all the others saw them as disposable creatures without any form of individuality, without a soul. But from all that we have seen in Star Wars, clearly all the clones are their own individuals. That's why they develop nicknames for themselves because they are individuals. But unfortunately, now that the war has ended in the context of the Bad Batch, right? Now the clones are no longer needed per se. And I'm talking about this because real men out here in the real world, right? A lot of us feel the same too. Now that the system doesn't need us because it has developed as far as it has and it has used men from since the 50s or since World War II, in fact, since the 20s, in fact, since the Industrial Revolution, and now we're going to enter the fourth industrial revolution now that we're no longer needed it seems that they are slowly getting rid of us and uh, a lot of men have been feeling this way for decades already seeing that the future might not be on our side as men and so a lot of men were the first to lose their purpose long before women because a long time ago a woman's purpose was just to have babies and then the media and uh, all the crazy people in government decided to fund the wars and put the women in the factories and all that, and now they think they can be better than a man. They don't need no man, right? So now the media is using women as objects of desire, of course. And so when a woman loses her job, she can just open an OnlyFans, right? And so she has a lot of options, basically. But a man, no. A man needs to work. A man is a soldier, a builder, a creator. And if he can't do any of that, he is just going to wither away and rot. And so... We want to see how the clones react when their services are no longer required and see what sort of people they become when they no longer have a mission to fulfill. So we're going to see here where the Senate is talking about this exact issues on what to do with the clones and try to picture if uh, maybe the devil and his minions or the people in government are like, OK, so we use all these dudes now. We're going to get rid of them. So let's let's assess the dialogue here. Disagree, Senator Organa. Where does the Emperor stand on this issue? Since he remains absent from these proceedings. The Emperor, as always, trusts this delegation to act in the best interest of all galactic citizens. And what about the interests of the clone troopers? Now that was a an example of gaslighting we're all doing it we're all doing this in the name of safety we're killing you shooting you gaslighting you in the name of safety we need to get rid of climate change we need to reduce carbon emission to zero and in order to do that everybody has to die um that's literal gaslighting you know the only way to get carbon zero is if everybody's dead and yet you keep pushing this as if it doesn't mean what it actually means this is gaslighting, subliminal gaslighting. It just sets people off in a frenzy. It makes you doubt your own reality, your own uh, sense of reality, your own conclusions to what's true even. But yeah, and listen to what the blue alien girl is going to say now. What about the rights of the clones? Why are they not included within this legislation? Why aren't we included? Did anybody ask us, hey man, your career is, a, is about to get smashed. Um, COVID ruined everything. Things are not going back to normal. There's going to be a new normal. Well, did were we included in that briefing? No, we weren't, right? Clone army cannot sustain given their accelerated aging and should be slated for decommissioning. We are not droids to simply be shut down. These are soldiers who defended us. We are stated, slated for decommissioning. 
That, that's what's happening. How many dudes are taking their own lives? How many dudes are burying themselves in video games or in the depths of Pornhub, right? This is a form of coping because they don't want to be doing those things. They want to be out there on the battlefield. Now, not literally slicing other men open, but if it were to be like in the old days, a man slicing the ground open to throw seeds in there, to water the place, and then he sees growth, he sees the fruits of his labor. Unlike now, all our labor goes into growing the company, somebody's company, they get all the money, and uh, you get less than half, of course. And, it, and on top of that, what you get is not enough to pay for all your expenses. It's not enough for you to keep working as hard as you do. And now that they don't need us, they are planning to decommission us. This is exactly what's setting us off. But unfortunately, there's too many comforts uh, that men are using right now, such as Star Wars. These series address things that we're going through. And so there's a, a little bit of catharsis that, hey, they mentioned what I'm going through. Hey, they mentioned that this is what we're going through. But ultimately, your reality stays the same. You remain in a deeper hole. You get movies like Blade Runner showing you what's going to happen. And whoop to do it is happening. And yet nobody is willing to fight and change. But I understand. Where do you even start to fight and change something like that? Right as it's the same as God's trying to kill Griffith. He can't do it. So what do you do? What can you do? Defended our worlds. Mm, I didn't realize you. We built this world. Right? We built everything here as men. We contributed, we died in the stupid wars, so on and so on. And now, and now you want to get rid of us because the system is in place? Not fair. If we don't, who will? After all they have sacrificed, you now wish to discard them, leave them with nothing. Is that how we repay them for their service? Is that what this empire stands for? How can we debate commissioning a new army without a plan in place to care for our current one? I hear your concerns, Senator Chuchi. Allow me to assure this delegation that provisions are in place to aid the clones as they begin to be phased out. What do you know about their needs, Admiral? Have you asked them? Or do they not get a say in their future? I am open to discussing any and all provisions you or the clones have in mind. If we work together, I am confident we can adequately address their concerns. Smug, smooth talking, lying bastard, right? Has the system asked us what our needs are? We know our needs, but we know they're not going to give it to us. And they know that they're not. What a man needs is free freedom, the freedom to create, the freedom to express himself without being called toxic, so on, so on, the freedom to be what he is, but no longer is that allowed. And so that happening is really frying the brains of a lot of men out here. And we're going to see how some of the clones react to this. Well, until then, I motion to table the vote on the defense recruitment bill. I second. And so we're going to skip forward a bit here. Better understand. So that's it. We serve our purpose and now they want us out. That's why I'm here to better understand your needs. I need to stay a trooper. Can you make that happen? Well, no. Once a clone has completed the required rotations, yeah, the Empire declares us obsolete. We know. Talking won't change that. See, we need to be on the battlefield. We need to stay working. We have to, regardless of age, a man needs to work until he drops. We are not, a lot of us can't be kings. Only a king could really retire. But a man back then, dude, you were working until the end. Right, if you didn't have a big family to take care of you. And that was normal. That was fine. Yes, it wasn't perfect. But what is perfect? Nothing. 
but ultimately you never felt like you're wasting your life. Everything you did mattered. Everything had a reward for what you did. This imaginary prison, which is not imaginary, but this invisible prison that we're in, right? It would hold all of that. It would hold all of that. And so now what you have is a group of the clones seeing their future. And here they are at the liquor store. They are at the liquor store. They can't handle the fact that they're being decommissioned. And all they want is to go back in battle regardless if the war is over. Right? Let them be stationed somewhere. And now the Empire doesn't need them anymore. So, well, they're planning a mass genocide of them. Ultimately, what's happening to uh, heterosexual males here is that it's a gigantic genocide, psychological and physical. Because a lot of dudes are killing themselves. A lot of dudes are taking substances, right? Indirectly, slowly killing themselves. And a lot of dudes are getting screwed in the head, right? Thus making it easier for the system to continue to put the squeeze on everybody. And so when you are in this particular situation, what happens? Well, Star Wars doesn't necessarily address this issue because it doesn't seem to, no one seems to be able to fix this. You can't fight Darth Sidious. You don't even know where he is, right? And so it is quite the conundrum, really. But it can change your futures. I can craft a pension plan. Pension plan? <laughs> I'd rather be out there fighting those insurgent groups that keep popping up. You know, I've started to rethink the idea of a pension. All it is is being paid to sit and do nothing. It's getting paid to rot away. And as this clone says, pension plan, I would rather go out there and die on the battlefield, basically. Being paid to sit and do nothing, it's like, it, it's like capturing a lion putting it in the zoo and paying it with steak to just walk in circles. That element that made a lion majestic and really, really cool to look at, it's taken away from it because now all it does is just walk in circles and wait for its steak to be delivered, right? And we're not built to be like that either. We have to be out there. Look at all the toxic behaviors that are developed. Anger issues, right? Drunkenness, depression, all these things. This is what happens to us. This is what happens to us. And a lot of people, they don't necessarily want to talk about this, right? Others can make videos about this, but now seeing that a lot of uh, series that we actually do like that have not been completely butchered, they address these things for us, but without a real solution. It's as if it's a conditioning to a grand acceptance that you will be genocided. You will be sacrificed. You will be sacrificed for the grand opening of the portal to hell, basically. And this sacrifice requires the freshest of meat, the most uh, valuable source of life there is, which is a heterosexual male. We are the most valuable resource on the planet. Sorry for the women who thought they were that, but no, it's us. We are the ones who carry the juice, right? And give you the juice so it can incubate up in your oven, right? And so little baby Jimmy can come along. But it is us. Without us, there ain't no baby, baby Jimmy. It's plain and simple. Without us, nothing can be built. So, Darth Sidious and the devil, they all require a grand sacrifice. And it is the man, because it is the man who is made in God's image, right? It is man made for God and woman made for man. So the hierarchy is God, man, woman. So for those who didn't know that, now you do. Now you understand why there is such a strong reaction a strong reaction to the man's psyche when he cannot fulfill his mission. Because God is a creator. And we too, made it in his image, we ought to create. You take that away from us, well, this is exactly what's going to happen. 
being an alcoholic, being stuck at the liquor store, being depressed, and being sorry for yourself. And what happens when you're too old to fight? That's not a scenario we're trained to think about. It's time you did. No, we're not going to think about it. That is a scenario we're not trained to think about because it doesn't matter. Just because I'm getting old just means I can't produce as much, but still I am producing. And what the system is doing is that, well, we're not going to allow you to produce anymore. We're going to pay you to sit and do nothing and then pay you with fake medicines uh, so you can get sick and die sooner. You see, this is the problem with the Grand Empire. This is the problem with the society. They want to sacrifice us. This is unfair. This is this sucks. This is terrible. But at the end of the day, there are some of us like myself who see all these things happen. And I cannot slash away at Dot City. So I don't know where he is. I can't slice the devil. Even if he were here, my sword will go right through him. Right? I can't do any of this. I mean, do any of that. I can't hurt him. So seeing honestly that there's absolutely nothing to do because even Andrew Tate does not have an answer to this. Jordan Peterson does not. Ben Shapiro does not. Hamza does not. First Man does not. These people are telling you how to live your best life in a jacked up prison, right? How to get all the hussies who've been ran over by 10 billion dudes in a jacked up prison. There is no catharsis in pursuing what they are recommending, right? Zero. So again, then the question is, then what, bro? Then what? Whew. Well, just like this series and a lot of other people, they too don't have a solution. But if we were to look at Berserk, Berserk will be the closest thing to give us an idea of what to do. Because the grand finale of this grand sacrifice is that it will happen. If you pay attention to uh, Christian end times literature, well, it ends with the second coming. It ends with the second coming, but before the second coming, there really will be a sacrifice. And you can fight and squirm all you want, but it doesn't seem to be a way out. And if that is the case, that am I saying, okay, put your hands up, uh, blow your brains out, it, it's all over? No, because I can't willfully choose to sit and take it. I cannot. That's not how we built. We're built to resist things like this. We built to do something, guys, to do something. And even though we are going to lose, right? We're going to die on the battlefield. That's what matters. The Vikings wanted to die on the battlefield and go to their Valhalla, right? There is honor in dying while trying versus dying while sitting down. So if anything, let us all go out with a bang. That's all there is to it. Let's make a noise and go out with a bang. Create what you wanted to create, do what you wanted to do, make sure it can help a dude up, make sure it can give a dude a sense of being and not that fake artificial sense of being by Hamza, right? But the real sense of being that tells dudes that, listen, you are in this prison, you are in this prison, but we're going to try to get out of here. We're going to die trying because having fun in prison isn't fun. You have to be retarded. You have to be retarded, bro. So, moral of the story, we got to try, die trying. That's all I can say. That's all we have. That's all we can do. Well, until next time then. <laughs>